My name is Thomas Toll. I'm a former obese person. I used to be over eight, almost 800 pounds. This was me right here. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Everyone can see me. That was me. I lived my life on that floor or my chair for years. I suffered and now I've lost that weight. I have got myself down to a weight of 270 pounds due to diet, exercise, and yes, I did do gastric bypass after getting my weight down to a safe BMI of below 50%. I have done everything right to be at the point that I am now. I am seeking to have reconstructive plastic surgery done so that I can finally be free of all the excess skin that is left after having the amount of weight that I carried around. I have had insurance cover one procedure that did take off quite a bit of amount of excess skin. It was called the paniculectomy. They took off the apron skin, which was definitely a blessing. But I am still left with abdominal skin, breast skin, arm skin, thigh skin, and several areas of skin that affect my daily life. I suffer from candidia rashes. I suffer from pain in my muscles. I suffer from shame and depression due to the fact that even though I've lost all this weight, I still feel as though I am fat. I recognize that yes, I did this to myself. I have no one to blame but myself. I don't blame fast food. I don't blame junk food. I don't blame my parents. I blame me. It was my fault. I have learned later in life that there might have been some medical issues that we never knew about until I was actually going in to prepare for surgery. As I was going through the process of getting approved for it, we learned that I was I had thyroid issues, and I've also known for a long time that I had depression issues, and that might have played an issue with the weight, but not going to let that be an excuse for it, because, you know, no excuse. But I recognized the issue after, you know, a doctor telling me you have one year to live, and I had a brother and sister that were born that I needed to be a older brother for and I didn't want to shame them so I lost the weight and here I am now 500 plus pounds lighter than what I was in these pictures um, I've had my story shared all over my state and starting to go national um, I've been in the Kenny Beck Journal here in Maine and all the local papers and all the state papers. Um, I've got picked up by a paper in the United Kingdom. I have been on all the radio shows here in Maine. I have been picked up by Fox Business, um, excuse me, Fox Radio. Um, been interviewed by WGME 13, being interviewed next week by WMTW 8. Um, I have set up a GoFundMe page that within 18 days is already approached the $4,000 mark. I'm getting checks and cash in the mail, so I'm 
extremely blessed and, and I feel blessed beyond measure for that and for the public's support. Um, but I'm doing this video because I want to express a couple of things. I want people to know that obese patients and obese people were people. We are not all lazy. We don't all get fat because we just want to eat, 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 eat. Some of us have psychological issues. Some of us have health issues that just cause us to get overweight. Um, not making excuses, again. Um, and also, another misconception about the skin after weight loss. You cannot make the skin go back into its normal shape. After a person is 100 pounds, 200 pounds, 300 pounds, yet alone mine, of four to 500 pounds over what your body can tolerate, your skin is stretched beyond measure. You cannot expect your, stin your skin to elastic to come back to its elastic size that it should be. Think of an elastic band. You stretch it and you stretch it and you stretch it and you stretch it and eventually it breaks. Well that's what human skin does too. An elastic never goes back into shape either. I could exercise that band all I want. Not going to go back into shape. My skin is not going to go back into shape either. It is the way it is. I could spend 22 hours a day in the gym. Crunches, sit-ups, weight-bearing machines, cardio, all of that. And it's not going to help. While I do exercise, while I do try to eat right and follow the diet... It's never going to achieve the goal of getting the skin back to normal or as normal as possible for a patient losing or a person losing that much weight. I also, unfortunately, suffer trying to exercise. I do it still because it's a necessity. But I suffer rashes. And think of I you know, think of a woman, for instance. A woman when she women have to wear bras. Just just put it out there, okay? Well, men are not meant to have breast. Okay? That we're not. Well, people who men who Lose the amount of weight that I have, we are left with all the tissue in the chest that basically is breast skin. It's not breast, it's skin. Well, try exercising on a treadmill, having all that skin without wearing multiple layers of compression garments. And it's like two floppy bags of bean bags hitting you. Really painful on your shoulders and your back. Really painful. Not to mention the rashes that it causes. Doctors prescribe creams. Powders. Some weeks and months are great. But come summer, it's miserable. It is miserable. I pretty much have three creams and powder going non-stop. Winter, luckily in Maine, where it's cool, cold, not too, too bad. I mean, up in the, the breast area, still got it. But nothing, and in the legs, almost always. But nothing like during the summer where it gets bad. I'm asking... Because insurance thinks that this is cosmetic. For me, and for any single 
obese patient who has lost the amount of weight that I have, or it's 100 pounds, 200 pounds, 300 pounds, 400 pounds, or my amount, it is not cosmetic. It is reconstructive because we are just asking you to reconstruct our bodies. We are not asking you to make us the next Bradley Cooper, Angelina Jolie, Brad Pitt. I don't want to be the next Hollywood movie star. All I want to be is a healthy me, free of pain, free of rashes, and maybe, maybe, just maybe, be able to walk out on that beach, take my shirt off, and feel like I'm actually a man. That would mean the world to me. That would lift a huge load of emotions off my shoulders. I don't think we're asking too much, but I don't believe that insurance is ever going to recognize that. I don't think that insurance is ever going to see that there are medical benefits in taking care of these procedures. What they don't understand is unfortunately more and more Americans and more and more people around the world are becoming overweight. And I hope with everything in me and every fiber in me that I can be of assistance to help the next generation and everyone older, younger, my age, know that if you are overweight or if you're having trouble with eating, there is a way out. There is help. Um, I would be more than willing to contact you, guide you through it. I want to motivate people. I want to help people. I want to share my story. I want everyone to know that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Never give up on yourself. No matter if someone teases you, puts you down, don't turn to the bag of chips. Don't turn to the bowl of ice cream. Don't go through the drive through Let it motivate you to succeed and to tell yourself every day, you are worth the success. You are worth you. You are worth you. Don't let anybody take that away from you. I also know that I'm going to show people something that is very painful for me to show you. And I know that I might be ridiculed and I might have people make fun of me for it. And that scares me, but I also think that if I never show this, if I always hide it, the journey is never complete because people never understand really what I'm left with. Now, let me again say that I feel blessed that I have not been left with as much as I could have because my insurance company was gracious enough to cover the paniculectomy and my plastic reconstructive surgeon was able to remove that two years ago. And with his help, I'm raising money right now through my GoFundMe page. It is, you know, Thomas Toll at GoFundMe. You can basically type in my name, Thomas Toll, or Gardner Man, loses 500 pounds, Thomas Toll, Gardner Man, on Google, and I guarantee you I will pop up. I'm very, very popular on Google right now, and will link you to my GoFundMe page on every single media outlet I've done. I need your support, and I need your help to finish my goal so that I can pay the surgeon the amount that I have left to pay. I have been blessed that I have a family and friends who have already stepped in and helped me pay a generous amount of it. I, I'm one of the most blessed people in this world, but I need more support. And I can promise you that after I get done with all of this, I will help the next, the next group. 
I, I will not be the person that doesn't give back. I currently do work a full-time job. I currently do attend the universities of Maine as a full-time student. I also do work a part-time job with the University of Maine system. So I am a hard-working individual. This journey that I'm on will be completed and upon its completion I will give back to the next person. My life now is dedicated to completing my journey so I can motivate others to complete theirs while helping them every step of the way. So I'm going to show you something now that I ask you to please keep in mind that it's hard for me to show this and I ask you to please if you're going to make negative comments I want you to think about this ask yourself if someday your child or someone you love is in my position would you want them attacked or called fat would you want them put down would you want them hurt if the answer to this is no then don't do this to me